Guys, it's day one of Expedition uh, San Juan Mountains. We're here on the uh, beginning of Engineer Mountain. This is Engineer Mountain Road. Take this up a little bit to uh, Summit of Engineer. We're gonna go explore some mines. So here we are at the Michael Bream mine. This is the location where they would sort all of the, the stuff. You can see the railroad would come out. It looked like the mine was either right there or pretty high up. You can see kind of where the spoils are. A little narrow gauge railroad.
Uh, yeah, we'll check that out on the way back. That's where that other trail goes. Just start engineer pass here. Just need to turn on. Oh, we made it to the end of Hurricane Pass. This was a, uh, it's an out and back trail. We have the boarding house here. They've, uh, looks like they've done some restoring to it. We're just over 12,000 feet in elevation. See all the other, some other types of buildings.
see the absolute beautiful scenery. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day. There's, with all the fires in Colorado and Nevada, we have uh, unlimited visibility up here. Not really sure where the mine is. It's hard to tell. Looks like some of this is spoils. Or rent or rock slides, landslides from the mountain over the years. Boarding house. Boarding so here's the inside of the boarding house. Not really sure what these rooms are for. Maybe this was food storage or something. They've done a really nice job. They even restored the glass. They put wood on the back side so it doesn't get damaged. This might have been the living quarters and the sleeping quarters were upstairs maybe. Oh, it looks like there's a couple of beds here. I mean, with being so dry and not a lot of moisture up here, the wood, I bet most of this wood is all original. Yeah. yeah. This looks like the kitchen, maybe. There's a table in here. Looks like a pantry in there. Doesn't look like they restored the upstairs of the boarding house stairs. Brand new, brand new wood. this side up here a little bit it's a pretty long building for for sure this is really Really, really amazing. Nice long hallway. You know, guys would be living in here for probably a couple months at a time, I assume, before they'd go back down into Uray or Silverton or Lake City, probably. It's a really amazing structure. It's really glad that they've, they've restored this. So this is the compressor and blacksmith building. And once again, they've restored it again. And you can see some of the machinery. Big uh, compressor of some sort. Looks like that's an electric, something electric with a belt. Must have ran this pipe out the pipe runs outside. There's the same type of machinery we saw at the entrance to the trail at that little. Uh, Mining thing, a Model B. So we'll have to uh, look up, see what that is. So here we have an Ingersoll Rand compressor, I believe. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Uh, yeah, it must be a part of an electric uh, turbine or something that produces electricity or something. Well, something to assist with the mining.
tell you what, Rob, the longer I run this exhaust, the better it sounds. Ugh. So just coming off of Engineer, working our way back. Just came across this little mine. We got it all chained off so you know people don't go in, but it's definitely still leaking some stuff. Come out here, there's a foundation to something. Big big lag bolt, so they uh it's something up here. It looks like here's all the spoils from the mine. So I'd bring the trolleys full of stuff and find the ore, the gold. Coming out here and just dump it right out here. Some logs here, so I don't know if that's where the for the trolleys were some railroad ties uh, there's a little stream crossing over there we cross some railroad ties so this must all get uh, at some point inter interconnected to get the uh, to get the, the gold or ore or whatever they were mining here appears to be another mine way up there as well sure what this is it's on a bypass for engineer the main pass is a little up there there's a outhouse that overlooks this not really sure what took it out it looks like an avalanche but the uh, you know there's a lot of Live trees up above it. It's kind of interesting to see what this is. A lot of machinery. Oh, a little uh, chipmunk or mouse. It looks like an avalanche took this out just because all the timbers have fallen the same way. It doesn't appear to be like an explosion or a fire. I don't see much, much wood that's burned. 
and then that building over there is uh, you know completely uh, still standing cylinder things of some sort that must have been something that they would burn in it's uh, definitely a brick Machinery that spun some type of wheel. And there's uh, two boilers up there. So here we are at the second structure. Go inside, see what the inside is like. This must have been the kitchen. That looks like a stove. And then, obviously, in addition, some sort. We got some old beds in here. Let's hope there's no wolves or bears sleeping. This is really cool. Upstairs, bedroom. There's a chimney in here. Really, really cool. 